here are some of the best tech at CES 2024 that I believe went under the radar. The first is Xreal's new AR glasses. They call it the Air 2 Ultra, and I love it because you can literally control its interface with your hands. Last year, I got to play around with their first generation Air glasses, which were already really fantastic for watching content or playing video games on the go. It was like going to the movies and watching everything in IMAX, but you could be anywhere you'd like. Now, their new Air 2 Ultra has the same capabilities, but adds dual 3D cameras on its side to track your hands. I can pinch to select as I look at an app or icon within the glasses UI. They also had small boards on the table that I could flip or turn to change the software's environment, like switching modes, opening apps, and more. Playing with these pads literally made it feel like I was in one of those episodes from Black Mirror. It's also really incredible that Xreal was able to fit all this AR technology in such a small form factor and still make the glasses look somewhat normal. Apple and Meta, take some notes. Moving on, JBL showed off an exciting set of earbuds that really caught my attention. They're called the JBL Live 3, and if it's not already obvious, its biggest feature is that it has a touchscreen display on the front of the case. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to check them out in person, but from what I've seen on the internet, it looks incredible. It lets you control the audio, change the media, shows you incoming notifications, lets you ring your buds, gives you a slideshow of some of your favorite photos when it's on standby, and more. It's really cool, but it's not the first time that JBL has done this. Last year's JBL Tor Pro also had a screen on the case, but it does seem to have better functionality and more software features now. They also have different versions, so I'm pretty pumped for these. Even though I'm somewhat of a keyboard fan, I usually don't get impressed by many mechanical keyboards. The one that really caught my eye was the Dynatab 75X from Ethelmaker. Aside from having this sleek and stylish look, a gasket structure for a soft touch, and being wireless, it's got this horizontal dot matrix screen on the front with 540 RGB lights that display every key you press and includes extra lighting features like showing you the time and date, the battery percentage, and different lighting effects that you can customize within their software. Definitely an eye catcher and something I will consider picking up in the future. If you're really into smartphone photography, like you actually pick up lenses for your phone, you've probably heard of Shift Cam. And this year at CES, they introduced a macro probe lens for your smartphone. So you can literally get some insane bug's eye view footage when attaching this crazy looking lens to your device. Granted, you do need to get their case, but still, they also showed me their Pro Grip, which is already on the market, but seemed too good to not talk about. It's basically a battery grip for your phone that charges it wirelessly and lets you snap photos with the button on the back, similar to a DSLR camera. My favorite part is that you can shoot horizontally or turn the phone to start shooting vertically. And as if that wasn't enough, you can dock your device with it. It's pretty awesome stuff. And yes, it does work with most smartphones since the clamp extends itself. Speaking of lights, Govi also showed off many new lighting products that I think are pretty awesome and are underrated. They had this pixel light device that is basically like a smart picture frame where you can upload any pictures to it and they'll turn it into this pixelated art form. Plus, they said that you can change each individual pixel within their app to create your own art creations. I'm definitely picking this up when it gets released because it's a perfect addition to my office since I can stand it on my desk or mount it on the wall. Another exciting thing that Govi showed off isn't a new product, but more of a new innovation that they plan to add to their lights. It's called Govi AI GC, and it basically adds AI to their lights, which is a first. Within their app, you can tell the lighting bot to create any lighting environment, and it'll try to create it. Check it out. Do a party Christmas effect. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the Christmas tree on the right was the one that had the AI integration. And as you can see, it did create a party Christmas effect. And of course, I could have told it to create anything else and it would have done it. My last favorite product from Govi was their new gaming wall lights, which were basically giant LED bars that you could attach together to create custom combinations on the wall. 
and when you look more closely at each bar, you can see a really cool looking mecha style design. I'm also adding this to my gaming room when it gets released. Taurus also showed off some fantastic new products, generously sponsoring my trip as well. Their booth featured outstanding new phone cases, wearable air conditioners, and new charging accessories. They introduced their next lineup of magnetic stand cases, like the O-Stand R, which comes with a 360 degree rotating ring to let you stand the phone at more extreme angles. Plus, it still supports MagSafe charging with an even stronger magnetism for the iPhone. Taurus also showed off a new P-Stand case with a rounded rectangular pullout stick to let you stand the phone vertically or horizontally while also being able to charge the phone with MagSafe. What's even cooler is that Taurus brought the O-Stand design to a sleek magnetic 5000 mAh power bank for the iPhone. The ring can rotate 360 degrees so that you can still stand the phone at almost any angle while it's being charged. It's a really remarkable product. Or for your nightstand, they showed off the iStation, a 3-in-1 charger that accommodates the iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods to charge them simultaneously. It's MagSafe compatible, has a foldable design for portability, and even has a built-in fan for cooling. Speaking of cooling, Taurus also presented some new wearable air conditioners that hang around your neck to blow cool air or hot air up around your face, depending on your temperature. Their Coolify Cyber is their most powerful model, with the strongest fans that provide high-speed airflow and an interactive display. But for a more budget-friendly option, the Coolify 2S is an excellent choice that can still cool down your face or heat it up. You'll just be missing out on the display and its fans aren't as powerful, but that does mean that the battery lasts a bit longer. The cooling system that stood out to me the most though was Taurus's Coolify Zone Waste Fan, which goes around your waist and delivers a constant stream of fresh, cool air in front of you without feeling cumbersome. I'm definitely picking this up for my next CES trip because it literally felt like I was constantly walking in a cloud of cool air. Overall, Taurus released some fantastic new products that are highly functional and super seamless. I know I already mentioned AR glasses initially, but here's an interesting alternative. Ampere showed off some glasses that can automatically change the tint of the lenses based on the light around you through a hidden light sensor. So for example, as you go from a dark environment to a brighter one, the glasses will instantly darken for you without needing to do anything. And it works the other way around too. They call it the Dusk RX. Plus, just like the previous version, which I was able to try out in the past, you can still change the tint manually with the press of a button on the side of the glasses or within their app. They also have speakers on the side of the arms so you can listen to music on the go. And a new feature that they also introduced at CES is that they now support prescription glasses that can also change the tint of the lenses. The first version honestly worked pretty well, so I'm super interested to see how these new ones work in the real world. If you're into transparent tech, you may have heard of Charge. They make transparent battery banks that have been featured on MKBHD and other popular tech channels. Well, at CES this year, they showed off their next version, the Shard Geek 170. It's still transparent and has a mini screen to tell you all the charging and battery stats, but what's new about this version is that it's shaped like a prism instead of a rectangular prism like the last version. They got inspired by Pink Floyd's legendary album called Dark Side of the Moon, and it charges much faster both ways. So output now goes up to 170 watts, while input is 140 watts. So if this thing dies, you can apparently juice it up in just 40 minutes, which is pretty insane because it comes packed with 24,000 milliamp hours. Unfortunately, that is a bit less juice than the last version, but it's still more than enough for me. And lastly, it's now IP4 water resistant, so if water splashes on it, it should survive. I also came across this interesting product called Bibu. It's a convenient at-home urine test that after you pee on it and wait 90 seconds and then scan the stick with the app, it'll tell you your calcium levels, vitamin C, ketones, water, magnesium, pH, sodium, oxidative stress levels, and protein. Any of those that are low, it'll give you all the possible health risks and some advice on improving them. Vivu gave me a pack to try out at home and it worked fine. I discovered that I had a bit of dehydration and that I was low on magnesium. To solve this, it advised me to eat more avocado. Overall, thumbs up for this product on my end. 
If you're looking for some new outdoor security cameras, Basius is coming out with a new wireless one called Security S1 Pro. And the reason it caught my attention is because it has a built-in solar panel on the top that automatically rotates towards the direction of the sun. That way it gets the most possible power no matter what time of the day it is. Pretty incredible. Plus it has a dual camera design with 3K clarity, zooms up to 8X, colorful night vision, IP67 water resistance, 13,400 milliamp hours of battery, and AI facial recognition to identify intruders. Overall, it seems like a great camera. Anyways, click this video right here to see my past CES video on all the other cool products that I got to check out from the previous years. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this one, and thanks for watching till the end. Kapow!